What up, though, y'all? It's your girl, D-Lo Brown, and I am here with a very, very special episode of Confessions of a Comedian. I got my homegirl, Shantae Wayans, in the hey, building. Gang, what gang. up, though? What up, love? How you doing? Man, I'm good. Let me yeah. first say, you smell <laughs> great, okay? Like, Thank you. I'm trying to know the secrets. Well, you know, I gotta, I gotta keep it to myself. You might be trying to give this to uh, your, your significant other. Significant yeah, other. I can't, I can't have people coming around smelling like me. You know. Oh, this confessions of a comedian. You gotta <laughs> confess. Damn. <laughs> Listen, y'all. This episode about to be crazy as hell. I'm so glad to have Shantae here. We about to get right into it. So, Shantae, I need you to tell the people who you are. Yeah. Okay. How long you been in LA and how long you been doing comedy? Well, well, you want the therapy who I am yeah. or you want the the resume? I don't want nah. no no uh, cookie nah. cutter shit. I want <laughs> nah. the real deal. Uh, uh you know, a comedian, um advocate for um, you know, the LGBT and and addiction and uh mental health awareness and uh also write and and produce myself. Um but yeah, I've been doing Man, I've been doing stand up since 2003. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I started out in LA. Awesome. So, yeah. That's amazing. Now, you were from the East Coast. You lived in New York, right? Yeah, I'm okay. from the East Coast. Yeah. Yes, left that's left from said. Jersey. I was I was born in New York, left from Jersey. Uh came out here and uh found, you know, production. And yeah, and from there then I found comedy and it's been on awesome. since. Absolutely. So you came out here and your first big production, I believe, was Scary Movie 2. Yeah. 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 So you yeah. were working on that. And I uh, was listening to one of, your, one of your interviews and you mentioned that working in that film industry was not really for you. No. Kind of like a no. soulless type yeah. of vibe. Can you, yeah. you know, can you expand on that? Because I know it's real crazy out here. You, you got to be, well, especially back in the day, you had to be a certain individual to be able to shift through this industry. Um, you know, you know, sometimes you, you got to know how to push your way through and sometimes you got to know how to, uh, network. And when I say network, it's a level of kind of minimalizing yourself sometimes and, you know, demeaning and not taking care of yourself to try to find when that perfect time is. Um, so I came out here not wanting to get into the industry because I, I witnessed my family getting famous. And and going on, you know, when, when it was just like us going on family dinners and stuff like that without them being famous, that was so intimate. That was, you know, we're a huge family. So when we started going out and they started getting famous, it there was no it was no level of being able to be out and be no normal. boundaries from right. people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Come up to you during spaghetti right. time. <laughs> exactly. And then and then that and dealing with who the people in my life really are, what what they're there for. So are my friends, real friends, so on and so on. So anyway, I, I didn't take that life. I was a tech geek. I liked computers and stuff like that, and that's what I went to school for. Um, but uh, I didn't last quite too long in college. Okay. So right. so, <laughs> okay. so I moved out here. And, <laughs> yeah. and long story short, uh, I got to work on Scary Movie 2 with my uncles, started as a PA, but I was able to find uh, editing and post-production, which was still involving computers. And so, so that's, that's how, how I kind of started, started off. Okay, for sure, for sure. Now, do you feel like... The comedy industry is kind of the same as the film industry, being that soulless, gotta watch your back type of vibe. Or yeah, I think in the, I think initially for everybody, everybody starts off with good intentions. Of course, you know, oh, I want to help everybody, and also, I, you know, how can I be down type stuff, and then you just realize that uh, a lot of it is not that, and then you either conform and and you know. You know, it's just figuring out how to maneuver through this this work. And, and fortunately, uh, for social media and stuff coming out there, it's it's uh, opened up a whole new door for talent. And I'm talking about real talent. It's opened up a world for just anybody. But to have a voice and not have to hear the no's and negativities and stuff like that and still build a fan base has changed the game. Absolutely, yes. Now you talk about social media, you are very active on your social media. I love when you post your stand-up clips. Thank you. Fucking hilarious. Thank you. And motivating, because I hate posting. Right. I'm going to get to it. I swear I am. Um, we were talking about something a little bit earlier about people being in your comments. Oh, man. <laughs> What's going on? Because you said you had to join the gym. Listen. Based let, off your motherfucking comments yeah. on your Instagram. Let me tell you something. People, this, ah. Yeah, break it down for the people. <laughs> there, there's so many factors with this, because people... If I said something to some people, right, even if I would have responded to this people, because I, I damn sure went on their Instagram page. Oh, yeah. 
And I, it took everything in me to not start off with you got the nerve. You got the motherfucking and, nerve. Right, right, right. <laughs> and just run down. Yeah. So I, I gained weight. And usually, you know, I'm up and down with weight. Um, but, um, you know, especially when I drink or, you know, when I was drinking, yeah. I blow up. So long story short, uh, um, I posted something. Normally I'm, I'm chunky, but people aren't saying anything. I, I I'm in a safe you. space. Sorry. Oh, you know I'm in a safe I space. I posted something last week and I got three people that was like, are you pregnant? Are you, are you fat? You know, literally just out and out. It was one dude and two women. Oh, body shaming. Body shaming. Body shaming. Wow. And, you know, I, I tried to, the, the first dude, it was actually funny. He goes, did you get stung by a bee? And I was I'm like, sorry. damn. <laughs> I said, you know, no, I'm just fat. Uh, okay, I'm crazy. going to the gym right now after I eat. So I, I gave him that one. Okay. Um, and then he kept going. He was like, all right, bro, this right, is not I'm funny no more. Boy. Right. You Mexican, nigga. Look at your body. Okay. Uh, Hello. <laughs> not all Mexicans like that. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? The the worst kind is Who what knows? I'm trying to say. Uh, but yeah, and then two women, and I looked at these, I went to their page. I mean, they they ain't even had like their hair done, missing teeth, yeah. mm -hmm. st the same, uh, a little bigger than me, like just certain oh, yeah. things. Fat and fat crimes are real. Yo, that's hilarious. I talk about that a lot in my standards. It's ridiculous. It's real bad. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. So <laughs> I, I, with all that, now mind you, my, my fiance has been trying to get me to join the gym and let's go hiking and do this. And I'm like, babe, I'm gonna get to it, you know, while I eat my uh, Girl Scout cookies. Not, hey, what time you like? Oh, now I like, uh, they got this uh, s'mores. Oh. They got the s'mores cookies. No, I like the mimosa. The what? Thin mints. Yeah. How old are you? <laughs> yes, my great great grandma loved thin mints. We're not gonna be like that. Thin mints are the motherfucking goat of the Girl Scout cookies. Right. Okay. That that was the original because it started with the grandmas. Wow. And okay. This is a thin mint. All right. Let's, well, let's get back to the fat shaming combo. <laughs> what do you want to talk about cookies? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I, I signed up for the gym that day, been going every day since. I lost four pounds. <laughs> but I this is also a lesson. Like sometimes, you know, maybe maybe I needed this. And if I got the body of a goddess this summer, I will thank them. Well, you yeah. know what? We, we do not condone uh, body shaming at all. But I understand that sometimes we do need motivation, yeah. you know? So if, I know I'm a little fluffy. And uh, one of my friends, they were like, yeah, You're I noticed fluffy. you. And I'm a little fluffy. You're and I'm fluffy. a little, thank you, though. Hey, thank you. I One of my friends made a comment. They was like, yeah, I noticed you had, like, some extra snacks at your house. Oh, uh, <laughs> man. Like, Damn. <laughs> you, that's, you know, I, I don't want to be hard. This is what's crazy. There's, there's different types of, you can be in shape or thin, oh, yeah. or you could be fluffy. Yep. And you're fluffy like you sexy. You know what I'm saying? You can't be, what are you? This is, I'm in the what are you phase. Like you gaining weight, you look weird. Amazing. No, I mean, thank you. But I'm saying like, I, I'm not downing myself. I'm just saying like, I know my body could be better. But you gotta be, you gotta be one or the other, but you, you know, your confidence, you're gorgeous, your gorgeous, your all that stuff. I, I, you know, I'm in a different space. But you know what? I've learned as I'm getting older, cause I'm in my thirties now. I'm like, that weight gain shit is real. Yeah. The, the yeah. weight gain, the fluctuation. It's like when I turned 30, it was like stomach and chin hairs. Just boom. Mm -hmm. Just fast. <laughs> Not the chin hairs. The chin hairs are <laughs> rapid. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's very sickening. Do you have chin hairs? I, I didn't get the chin hairs. And it's crazy because my mom was getting a mustache. Oh, and I was like, if I wanted to transition, this would be perfect. But I didn't get any hairs. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? If you wanted to train, it, it, it would have been. I wouldn't have to get the the, the hormones. Nah, I, I'm afraid of surgery. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking about a BBL, but I was. I think I'm. I'm afraid of getting on that table. Yeah. Nah, yeah. man. I don't. I don't like anything that. Yeah, it's touching my body. Not a needle. Not a. Not you a know dick, what I mean? Not, not a dick. Not a dick. Not a dick. <laughs> not a dick. We don't want the, oh, anything that's touching my yo. Hey, that real. was brilliant. That Listen, was. I, uh, Shantae, you didn't know that I had a girlfriend. Oh. You didn't, Shantae said I was down low. She said, "Oh, Dila on the down low." I'm airing you that's out. That's why I said significant other. Uh, yeah, that's why she said significant like, other. You were supposed to you say, say it. my bitch. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. <laughs> but she, she loves now, you. <laughs> now we get to go on uh, stud dates. Yes! You know what I'm saying? What you do? You, you ball? You knit? Yes! What you do? She a hardcore that's, stud. Yeah. That's funny. She's that's a, a, she my little studsman, so I'm going to have to introduce you guys. Absolutely. We can go like, you know, we need to find some good clearance sales on dicks. They're expensive. Absolutely. Dicks Absolutely. are expensive. Who knew <laughs> something that can't shoot out nothing? Would be that they, expensive. They, they should have, uh, I know, it's like uh, blood diamonds. you like, man, y'all went through all this stuff to get it. Yeah, you like, but you can get it cheaper if you just go to the, the already attached dick. Um, uh, I think they should have Black Fridays for for dicks. Yeah. that's a, You know what? Let's talk about that for this year. We're going to have a Black Friday sale on Black Dicks. Black dildo dicks, everybody. You get a plastic. You get a plastic. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> listen, I listen, you know I'm crazy, but you know speaking of plastic, um, and real dick, you mentioned before, you know, um, you're celebrating your sobriety. Yes. Congratulations to Thank you, you on that. Um, but you know, you mentioned that when you used to drink, sometimes you get a little flirty with the men. Hilarious. And at one time you woke up with a man. Y'all was cuddling. You know, you what can't y'all doing? You can't just do jokes anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. It always no, no, no. So, so one, you know, clear it off. I've been with a man a while ago. Okay. When I say wow, probably twenty, over a little over twenty years. So, so um, the jokes stem from when I drink. I do get flirty, and I always have this like baby father. Like I'm searching for a baby father. Right. So I, you know, I'll I'll Take hug you. Yeah, I'll, I'll lay down, not lay down with you, but I'll, you know, flirt a lot. And I'm always asking the dude, like, you know, you, you handsome. You could be my baby father and stuff like that. Yeah, so. Would you take him for the team so that you, you know, could have a baby? Would you? If I was broke and okay. uh, girlless. Okay. I, I think before I met my fiance, I said to myself, I wanted to, I, I wanted to experience it. I wanted to have a kid. And if I didn't have somebody... Uh, that I felt was right in my life to experience that with, then I'll do it myself. Absolutely. Would I have taken the peen? Like I said, I had to be broke, which which <laughs> don't make sense because then I can't raise a child. Not, so broke dick be good sometimes. I'm, I, listen, I'm move. <laughs> I never understood. It hurts. There's nothing. There's no selling of of that sex life with them with me. You know. You, you gotta, gotta be drunk, it, it, and that's and it's understandable. That's why, fellas, every time you see your lady, let me just let's get some wine. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> they always they always gotta loosen up. You, got you to. never got a sober chick that's just getting banged out. No, you know the alcohol gives us that <laughs> it, that encouragement that we need the extra push. That we need to hop on the dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you like that? You, you uh -huh. go all the way. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> enough dick talk <laughs> confessions of a dick oh, okay uh but speaking of that you mentioned you like getting your butt ate Damn. Oh, yeah, we go. Where baby. are you finding? Oh, listen. You can, you're finding like different stages of my life. Oh, I'm you're good like at this shit. I I I <laughs> listen. A little butt a little butthole smack ain't bad. You know what I mean? I don't think everybody should get the butthole smack but i definitely it feel good you like to get your butt ate. do you get it ate before a show to like help you you know get flowing no i'd rather i'd rather get the head oh okay yeah yeah. yeah you know what i'm saying look i i don't mind a little butt a little butt smack but i think it's uh it's like it's like a uh what do you call it like a, a delicate mm. dish you a know delicacy. what i mean it's, it's so like you don't have it at every function right you know what i mean it's like caviar <laughs> I think it's the same thing too. Isn't caviar? Uh, <laughs> oh no! See, I wasn't even. I trying think to caviar is like uh, fish boo boo, -boo or that's something. Crazy. Like oh, it, it's fish shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Scratch that. Yeah. <laughs> from the case, I never said that. <laughs> I no. never said that. Hey, you are hilarious. <laughs> Should I tell you, you identify as a steed. steed? What the fuck is that? A steed <laughs> is a stud. That every uh, probably two weeks needs the door and some things carried for her. Okay. Yeah. 
Steve, okay. you know, part of the month, two weeks out of the month, I'm a whole ass dude. You know what I mean? I'm like, what we doing? Mm. And then that day hit, and I'd be like, could you hold this? Oh, okay. Yeah. And how does your fiance feel about that and playing those roles of you being a little more uh, steadless <laughs> for two weeks out the month? She, she know what it is. I just, I got to go hide. I got a little, little schman cave. Okay. So I got to go hide and uh, for a little bit so she don't see all the vulnerability. Uh, and that's understood. Yeah. That's understood. But do, do you like playing the more masculine role in your relationship? Or yeah. I f balance? No, I've, I think I've always been like that. Like, I no, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm a dude or, yeah. or trying to do that. But I do. I, I It's in my nature. I like providing. I like I, I like that balance. And I'm I'm lazy when it comes to like cooking and cleaning and doing those things so she makes up for that and she you know she likes but she likes to do it yeah you know i'm yeah. not saying like she don't need her breaks but if i take her out you know give her her time she likes to she's a nurturer that's good that's good i found myself nurturing my girlfriend and when she does try to like step up and do the dishes yeah. and stuff I'm crazy. I still gotta go behind her. Oh, all the dishes are she, clean. no, she does that too. I'll do the bathroom. I want to know what she crazy. Like yeah, me. but but let me tell you, my my fiance would definitely put her foot down and be like, "Yo, like you see me doing this and carrying the stuff down and doing laundry." So I'm aware. And and the crazy thing is, when people are doing amazing things for you, you kind of want to do more. You know what I'm saying? So I know she got her clients and stuff like that. I might I might go do the laundry, even though. I don't necessarily have to. Right. And that's that's very nice. Of you. Yeah, you know. Very the lovely. Laundry might not come out great, but <laughs> black clothes <laughs> might be white, but hey, please don't I do did that. it. <laughs> and it smells delicious. No, you good. <laughs> so when is the wedding? When ah the wedding? man, May twentieth. Oh, that's coming yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you excited? Yeah, can't you see? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Yeah, can't you see? <laughs> you I'm, are funny. <laughs> I'm excited to marry her. I'm just I just want the wedding thing to be over. I hate uh I hate the anticipation. Is it a drag planning the wedding or what do you No, I don't I don't do anything. The only thing I have to do is do my figure out my vows. Okay. I got that and uh, make sure my grooms got the same tuxedo. Your yeah, grooms. Oh, you have grooms? Yeah, yeah. I got okay. like two. I got a stud. My my best friend, she's fam. She's my, my Jamaican friend. Love it. Best friend uh, from Jersey. Kim, shout out to Kim. Hey, uh, Kim. Anyway, she, she's my she's on that side. She's uh my best, one of my best friends and then my brother. Awesome. Uh, so my brother's walking me up the aisle and and you're on stand by the side. Yes, well, congratulations again. Thank you, that thank, is you. So thank, awesome. you. thank you, thank you, thank you. Is the wedding here in L.A. or are you? Yeah, okay. no, 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 it's here. That's what's up, that's what's up. We waited too long, everybody old. <laughs> Eating like, and I'm like, do that shit here. <laughs> uh, Eating on them feminine cookies. <laughs> right. <laughs> I cannot. Nobody purchased those cookies <laughs> but you. I love them. Listen, do you travel with your dick a lot? I absolutely do. Well, well when, when I got my fiance with me, let me clear that. Mm. <laughs> oh, nah, nah, nah. She, she, Let's go back, Chris, here. <laughs> I used to nah. have it with me, but now it's if we together. Okay. Yeah. You was just out here having it and you carry on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Dick, like, again, dicks are expensive. And yes. What if somebody came and robbed me and took my dicks? Oh, my God. Hey, you want to know something crazy? Mm. Somebody broke into my parents' house when I was living with them in Detroit and and the guy rambled through my dresser and my old bedroom and threw all my dicks out. I had dildos everywhere. And my parents had to clean that up and see that. That's crazy. The rob <laughs> <You> prob <laughs> robbers is probably religious. You know what I'm saying? Not religious. <laughs> but like, oh, not in the Lord's name. Oh, that's a diamond. <laughs> you know what? Bye. <laughs> This, yeah, you're, nah. you're a mess. My, my mom found mine before too. She just she she stuffed it back in and and didn't know what to say to me. She's just like, what? Why? Why? Why, why it's so big? Why, why I was like, it's so big? <laughs> well, Wait. you know when you a baby stud, you don't know you you keep hearing women like big dicks and shit. So you like, oh, uh, let me let me get this size. <laughs> okay. Nobody wanted to fuck me. That's crazy. I was like, you don't want this. <laughs> That's not, no, I right. don't want that. 
that's not comfortable for anybody. That, that was the beginning ba baby gay stages. And that's crazy. You know what? And this might be TMI, but I had to tell my girlfriend, like, we need to downsize the dicks. Yeah. I'm like, I need just a cute little short, little curvy one. I don't need all that fucking big dicks. Like, it's it's hard, so it doesn't move. You know what I'm saying? There's no motion in it. You just, you just messed up her whole... No, but you don't get the realistic ones? Um, yes, but, but we had to downsize again because it was just too big. There wasn't, it's just too... You just messed up her old ego. Now you got her walking around with a little dick, knowing damn well she can go get a bigger one. And it's white. That, <laughs> damn! You made her a white man? She's a mulatto. Damn! Michael Jackson. I'm, hey, yo, come come hang out, man. Let's, let's have some steed on steed conversation. Yes, y'all need some steed on steed love. <laughs> It's crazy. Downsized to a white man. Yeah. It, it works. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> you know, Hollywood has this uh, certain fetish when it comes to... <laughs> 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 because I, I just want to know what that did to her ego. Like, <laughs> I'll go ask her. I'm like, hey, what that small dick do to your ego? <laughs> a small white dick. And she's, oh and she's my dark skin, so it's so funny. That is. <laughs> like when the light's off, I can see you. That... <laughs> yeah, I had a morning, y'all. My, my truck got towed this morning. <laughs> Not repossessed, just told. How you segue <laughs> into that? I just had to tell y'all. <laughs> it's confessions of a comedian. How you get your car? Oh. I was getting my makeup done for this. And then I walked outside and it was gone. It was taken. <laughs> Where did you park? On Sunset. Oh, come on. D-Lo. Not, not the busiest here. street. You couldn't get... I didn't know. And when I walked outside, I just knew. I was like, this is the type of day I'm going to have. But it's okay because I did not let it destroy my day. We are here. We're on the couch and we confessing. With no car. No, it's here. Okay. Oh, we ain't got that motherfucker. <laughs> I was tell Shantae I'll be there in 10 minutes. <laughs> I got to get my motherfucking truck. Uh -uh. I got to get, I got to pack my dicks up. So, <laughs> the dicks need transportation. They can't just be walking. I can't be dickless in Seattle like that. Yo, they all they all in the trunk. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like low key want to call the cops on you when oh, we man. leave and tell them you got some shit in your trunk. You know how they have like the little kids on board sticker yeah. in the back of the van. I'm gonna have like dildos on board. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay, that's enough about dildos. I I gotta go. Okay, listen. Hollywood <laughs> has this like fetish with romanticizing lesbian relationships, but making them very feminine, feminine relationships. I don't see a lot of mask identifying lesbians on TV and movies. I see a few. I see them try to sprinkle in a few. But I want to know when it comes to you and auditioning for roles, does your sexuality play a big part in that? Um, uh, oh, it's, it's interesting, right? Like I wanted to be the actress that was going to be open to a lot of things. Right. And then like, I remember getting a part, I, I, I don't mind playing the best friend. Mm -hmm. I could do a lead, but like, if it's, you know, Jennifer Lopez, like the, the skirts and stuff, I would have to go through training. Okay. Um, I remember I did try to take, uh, a straight role and I had a husband who was in jail mm. And the crazy thing is, the next scene, like, I was fucking all these people. Wait, huh? So, right, right. So, so, and it was dudes. So, it was just funny because my agent sent it to me. And I was like, oh, I got to let my agent go. Like, yeah, this this doesn't absolutely. even, this don't, you ain't even build me in. You just going to go straight to the quack quack. So, the first scene I read, I'm like, let me give it a try. And I read in this, like, uh. You know, some regular, like, I miss you, I can't wait till you come home type shit. And I'm like, oh, I could do this. And the next scene was, like, like me moaning, like, give me that dick. Give me, and I was like, <laughs> I, was like I can't do it. But, you know, I go in as me. I don't think I always have to, like, you know, rock the hoodies and be like that. You can always dress it down. But, um, no, I've, I've pretty much been able to be myself 
and and get these auditions yeah that's good do you mm -hmm. feel like hollywood needs more representation of absolutely yeah. absolutely because you know again a, a lot of this is the business right it's the sell so i think like no disrespect to swarm but to see two swarms having sex ain't nobody really gonna check for that damn you know what i'm saying and i'm not even saying on a femme level but regardless what men feel about uh LGBT, they don't mind watching two lesbians, but they want to see two lesbians that look like they can smash, even if it's a stud that's cute enough. But but when you go like hardcore, like some of these studs be, I don't know if that's gonna sell to to a wider market, and that's where I think it gets a little funky. Yes, they love gay men though. Love. They love gay men. Yes, and I'm glad that we do see more representation for gay men. They cannot leave out a whole I, absolutely. section absolutely. of women. You well, know? But, but again, we still, I feel like studs are like at the complete bottom. You know what I mean? Because you got, I mean, sh like I said, gay men, they rule the world. They they in here, they all over the place yeah. to, to have the mentality of like not really wanting to see that because it's not a turn on. Is it's crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. It is. Well, I'm glad that you are true to yourself. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I love to see you on stage being unauthentically. No, that's not a word. Being authentically. I like what you was going to say. <laughs> so you like what I said. I, I like what you said. Say. No, being authentically yourself and not switching up to, you know, switch over to Hollywood's norms of how you should look or how you should dress. So, shout out to you for being Thank true you, to yourself. Boo. Of Thank course. You. So, 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 do the groupies be flocking to you? You know, you're away in. Ah, uh, you know, uh, listen, it, it, it did a lot. It, it, it definitely opens the door like crazy. Uh, it definitely helps. And, and then the talent or, you know, girls seeing me perform, it just adds on. So, I, especially in the beginning when I came out here, that was always... That was always easy to get women. You know what I mean? I'd be like, yo, you want to go to a premiere? You want to go to a party? You want to, you know, I, I used to do that. I used to see, like, who was going to be my girl by taking chicks uh, around, like, Got your functions like and that. Functions. Yep. Okay, I love that. A few of them, you know, trickled off and went with the celebrities, but, uh, you know, I got to kiss at least first. I, I got to rub some boobies. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to do this. You got to do that. Like, All right, that's go good ahead. Enough, then. Yeah, yeah. But no, it definitely helps. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's a it's a powerful name, and you know they they put their stamp on the world. So that's that's definitely a first look out there. Yeah. When people you know realize who you are, like do they like, ah. like it's you? Yeah, uh, hilarious. It's you. I <laughs> I've had, you know, when I, I toured with Cat Williams and it was interesting because I think in general, it's a it's a powerful statement when you're on stage. The way people fan out, it's it's a, a weird thing to just be on stage as an entertainer or anything. The TED Talk, if it's something powerful, you pushing or you funny or you whatever. I mean, I I remember being on tour with Cat and it's late, like ladies were coming up to me after and this one lady was like, I used to be gay, but I'm not anymore. But here's my daughter. And she wasn't even there. She was like, this is her daughter. All. It, it was the craziest thing. But that's the type of people, you know, that that kind of come in your space. Yeah, we in these last days because now she's selling her, ch her child bride. I mean, her daughter was kind of fine. You <laughs> okay. Know what I mean? <laughs> you know, listen, we about to wrap this on up. Speaking of last days. You mentioned your family is Jehovah Witness. Yes. Yeah, my dad's Not side. Everyone. Oh, yes, my yeah. dad's side is Jehovah Witness. What? Uh, who side? Oh, uh, my mom. My mom's side. Oh, my mom's yeah, side. my grand. My grandfather was. Okay. Are they like fake Jehovah Witnesses like mine? Cause mine celebrate everything. Hilarious. <laughs> like everything. <laughs> nah, my so my grandfather, my uncle Damon, and little Damon are probably the truest. My grandfather is hands down. Okay. But he married a. He, my grandma wasn't a Jehovah's Witness, so it was a very interesting upbringing. Yes. You know what I mean? But yes, we do have fake. You know, fake you you got <laughs> listen. My grandfather will not say Happy Thanksgiving or or Merry Christmas, Just but the whole day. he will eat a fucking plate. Of whatever was on that day, okay. See, that's a fake witness. You gotta be all the way. <laughs> he he'll stay in his room. Nah. He's not gonna come out with the Christmas lights and stuff like that. You gotta kind of slide the plate under the door, and it can't be no green, no uh, red, no sh nothing shiny, no snow. You just push that in. 
You almost. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. <laughs> Not your family being fake witnesses. <laughs> No, nah, my grandfather that, was true that to that. That is hilarious. Yeah. But you know what? I know you said recently you have been really into your Bible readings mm-hmm. because the end of days are it's, it's feeling very end of the worldish, and yeah. it's. I, I just was reading something on the phone that says uh, there's a new fungus that started in, uh, in the pandemic, and it's here. And it's in California and it's spreading widely and it's deadly. So you just, you know, you sit here and you go, all right, like, you know, I want to believe in this, but this sounds too real to this, this, and this. Yeah, mm-mm, new fungus in LA. We yeah. wrap this shit on up right here. <laughs> That's what I did. Episode. No. <laughs> Look, we about to jump right into these segments, okay? Made up a few little games for you, if you will. Okay. All right, you ready for this? Yeah, I, I ain't got no choice. Period. <laughs> so the first game is called A Joke Freestyle. Okay. okay. So I'm going to give you three words. Person, place, or thing, all random that I made up. <laughs> and we're going to use them in a joke. And you have to make our audience here laugh. Oh, okay, our, our four or five producers it's here. a lot laugh. of pressure. A lot of pressure. <laughs> you must make us laugh, and if you don't, well, you just don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure you will. Are you ready for your first three I quarters? am ready. All right. Michael B. Jordan, yeast infection, and a bank. And a bank? A bank. Bank, yeast infection. And Michael B. Jordan. And Michael B. Jordan. Okay. All right, so... I'm a lesbian, (laughs) but let me tell you something. I will fuck Michael B. Jordan, all right? He can give me a whole yeast infection, and we going straight to the bank after that. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Audience, did we fuck with that yet? (laughs) That's it. I was dead ass, Michael Jordan. (laughs) Michael B. Jordan. (laughs) No, that's my baby father. That's, That's who me and my fiance are going after. That, so that's who you would that be that's willing. that's my boo all right now we that know is. michael b in the yeast yeah, all right i'm like let me borrow this <laughs> you're sick <laughs> we need some monastat <laughs> um, <laughs> it go away you know at least you ain't say something that stay you know what i mean you next time i am gonna say something yeah. that stay. That's you, you are hilarious okay next one a trucker a used strap in a massage parlor. What? <laughs> a trucker, a uh-huh. uh, used strap, mm-hmm. and, and a massage parlor. parlor. Damn. A trucker, a used strap, mm-hmm. and a massage parlor. So, oh, this is going to be so bad. <laughs> okay. So, I used to work at a massage parlor, mm-hmm. and uh, this trucker dude came in. To try to get a massage. Mm. And um, I just started, you know, I really didn't get certified for this or anything like that. So I pulled out the best massage I knew. And I just used it on my girlfriend, which was my U strap. You know what? <laughs> oh. A little chuckle. If I fine tune that, I can make it a little. <laughs> Audience, what's y'all fucking with that? I, I mean, <laughs> look what you're giving me here, okay? <laughs> Let's right. We got one last one. This one's for the kill. Oh, man. <laughs> this is it. This is the one. Make this the one. Butt plug, Beyonce, and Toronto. <laughs> Butt plug, Beyonce, and Toronto. Yes. Damn. <laughs> Butt plug. Uh, damn! I, I I keep wanting to say two different things. Butt plug, Beyonce, and Toronto. It's gonna sound so stupid. I don't care. It's okay. So I I went to Toronto to see Beyonce perform, and apparently, uh, they was only taking gay dudes. You know what? So I took this butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> and, and take my titties down so I can look like a gay man. And I got in. It was crazy. Well, what did the butt plug? Where Why did would you put that? 
in there. Oh, where is the butt That's plug? That's the only thing I can... I don't know. <laughs> is it in your butt in this equation? Uh, if that's... What they do to get in Beyonce clothes. All right, so we're going to see uh, Renaissance Tour with butt plugs in our butts this year. So, Just so I mean, the gay dudes be buying up them tickets. You be like, damn, could somebody else get it? And they have butt plugs, too? Well, I Buy just figured, I figured, I figured gay dudes use butt plugs more than lesbians. To be determined, because my girlfriend bought me a butt plug last year. Oh, and my still in gosh, the what is... No. Oh, 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 oh. Gosh. I'll give you two out of three. You did pretty good. Give her that for a shot. Two out of three? Yeah. What? That, that last was, one was questionable. Come on now. <laughs> gay men. Gay, any gay men in the building? I don't think we have any gay men here. Oh, wait. No, maybe we do. I don't know. Let's have, let's let's ask the gay, gay audience. The gay audience members, <laughs> do y'all use butt plus? <laughs> Do your research on the LGBTQIA plus community. You Thank are you. absolutely right. Uh, my apologies to my LBGTQ plus A fraud. <laughs> I'm a fraudulent gay. <laughs> I always say I'm a down low homo. <laughs> I am. All right, now we got one last game for you. This one's fun. <laughs> it's called Body Yachty. Body Yachty. <laughs> yeah. Damn. So I have some pictures. Of some uh, famous old head comedians. And uh, you have to tell me whose body part does this belong to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. <laughs> Can we get our pictures, please? <laughs> All right, audience. I'm going to turn this first one around to y'all. The camera, we have to get some separate shots for this. All right, Shante, whose belly is this? <laughs> that looked like either Earthquake or Rodney Perry? <laughs> no? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn. You in Atlanta? I don't think Tyler Perry that big. I'll give you one hint. What's the hint? He's an entertainer. That ain't no freaking hint. Cedric the Entertainer? Yes! Uh, well, Cedric <laughs> is bigger than that now. Okay, maybe this was like, yeah, we don't want to body that... shame. Maybe this was like a belly from a few years ago. <laughs> How is that body shame? <laughs> Set the entertainer is bigger than this picture. Uh, maybe it's the black. You got to give me his new body. I'll give him you the new body. Nicki Minaj, <laughs> new body. I like that. Okay. Next. Oh, man. Hey, everyone, we have a hairline. <laughs> oh, the funny thing is it looked like my boy uh, Vladimir, who's a comedian. Uh, <laughs> but damn, is that is that Will Smith? No, the ears are too close. Damn, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But you was gonna be killing this. <laughs> Body yaddy yaddy yaddy. <laughs> this... All right, all right, all right, hold on, hold on. Uh oh my gosh. It definitely it kind of looks a little willish. Oh, 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 uh, uh, Judge, is it Judge Mathis? Or or no 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 no. <laughs> uh uh, what's his name? <laughs> what's his name? The dude from um oh my gosh. The dude from Boys in the Hood, the the father. Wah, wah, wah. Who is that? Steve Harvey. <laughs> no blow when I make this. Game. Just knew it was gonna be through this. I mean, all right. Now, if you don't get this one right, that look Shantae, like Judge Mathis hair. Shantae, I'm gonna be honest. If you don't get this next one right, I didn't, I'm gonna know something. If you showed me somebody toenail, I'm punching. I'm gonna know something. <laughs> Audience. Who's bald head? <laughs> yeah, I, I know my uncle head <laughs> from <knows> anywhere. Uncle <laughs> head. That's a my wife and kids picture right there. This is right my there. wife and kids, James <laughs> King Wayne's head. I was going to say, if you don't know that head. Yeah, that head. All right. Next audience, we have a body oddie here. Whose body, whose neck, shoulders, and body does belong to? Are they in the, in the entertainment industry? Yes, a comedian. Comedian, um... Big titties. I feel like you want to say it. Let me see. Mm-hmm. 
Go right ahead. <laughs> you know what, audience? <laughs> is hey. this Sherry Shepard? Yes. Hey. Okay. You know, had to look fur. at the up front of the titties yes. with the small waist. Yes. I got yes. it. Yes, yes. The titties and small frame. And last one for the titties. Who's her Is that Beyonce? Name? No, she's. it's a comedian. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> She's a comedian. Uh, Kim Whitley. Yes! Yeah! Okay, you better know your titties. You better I know, my titties. know your titties. Show me some more titties. Show no. her the titties. I'm proud of you and Thank your you. breast knowledge. Thank you. I got three out of five. Yeah! yeah. Not that bad. Look, I, I should get a half a point because that definitely looks like a Judge Mathis. I could pull up a picture. Nah, get somebody else to do it. That's shady. <laughs> that is shady. <laughs> It's not, but really good job. Thank you got you. not Thank bad. Maybe Thank like a you. C plus. <laughs> um, listen, you have been an amazing guest. Oh, I want to you. give you We're your done? flowers. Oh, I know. Listen, we, no, no, not all the way down. Okay. <laughs> I want to give you your flowers and just say thank you, you know, for being you. Thank you for being so kind to me and my team. Thank you for just being here today. Um, you are hilarious. I look up to you. I love your stand up. Your show was hilarious. I came to your show last week. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Okay. I was in there cracking up. My press on nail had flew off. Oh. I was like, oh my God. I was like, I hope nobody can see that shit. <laughs> but it was so fun. But Shantae, let the people know where they can find you, what platforms, and you know, what's what's coming up next. Uh yeah, so everything is yeah, pretty easy. It's at C Wayans. That's YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. And any other app you got, um, I'm also, uh, I have a deal with Caffeine TV, uh, which is a, a huge platform, especially for uh, the black community and, and people who love battle rapping, comedy, uh, podcasts, and all those things. So you can follow me there as well, at C. Wayans, and download the app. It's free, so you're not paying for nothing. Um, and uh, when you follow me, you'll find out about my tour dates. Um, check me out. Go watch my special, They Ready uh, Netflix season one, episode six. It's old, but I still get residuals. Period. Okay, we love that. 2019 old. We love that. Go see that. Hey, we love a residual. <laughs> I love that. Now listen here. You know the show is called Confessions of a Comedian. Yes. So you can't leave without one confession. Okay. I'm going to ask you something. Would you wear your strap on stage? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I, I would. I wouldn't mind wearing it. Wow. Uh, I probably would take it off, though. At what point? <laughs> it, it, you know what? The the fear of me wearing a strap out in public is I always feel like it's going to re like move. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it start here, and I look all cool, and then if I'm animated on set and it's on the side, hey, you know what I mean? Hey, like, no. But that was always a fear, <laughs> even though you can get stuff to hold it in place. And then also it's kind of hard to tuck your, your dildo in. You they know don't what I mean? really bend, so you can't Yeah, really they don't really, spin. like, you got to have some skinny jeans on <laughs> to hold that in place. But I don't know who going to want to sit there and just watch it. You never know. It's some you know, Holly you, weird you people know, out here. <laughs> listen, you, I don't know if you've seen the thing with the dude in the ice cream parlor and, and making these, like, uh, uh, cones, and then he brings it up to the girl, and they suck oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. You're right. <laughs> Very you're strange. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you for telling us that you might <laughs> consider wearing your dick on stage. <laughs> Y'all, this has been another great episode of Confessions with a Comedian. I'm here with my homegirl, Shantae Wayans, and we are out. Hey. Damn. <laughs> For years, truly, his brother, Keeper, and the finder of law.